Hey everyone, so I'll be putting my post in the description of these videos, um, or this video, and, because I post Rumble and, and, uh, YouTube, <clears throat> that's why I said videos, but it's just going to be one video for now, and basically, I'm just going to take you through a little bit about my work concerning, um, techno hijacking and the black market surrounding that and um a lot of stuff is in the description i'm kind of a mother on the fly all the time but um i am an sort of an unofficial criminologist i have been studying criminology for many years probably up to 10 years and um i've been studying the patterns of social media analytics um the internet you know, and sort of, it, it got, I became interested in how, sort of, how people blow up, how they fall, you know, what gets buried and what doesn't. It wasn't always clear to me at first. In fact, it took a, it took a while for me to be able to gather together a cohesive idea or pattern concerning it. But basically what I say in the post, and I have been, I'm ready now to reveal it, is that I was able to um, identify patterns regarding what sort of um, material online was, what, what blew up, what was buried, uh, particularly what was throttled and what is known as shadow band, and understanding the natural rhythm of analytics versus controlled rhythm of analytics. And so, again, it's been, a, it's been over the course of almost 10 years, me observing these patterns, and I've written a list of subject matters that I have seen that if, that pe if, that if people talk about, they're more likely to be shadow banned, throttled, um, and, um, and the whole black market techno hijacking scheme has to do with the fact that like everyday social, it's not just big conglomerates there are, but it's everyday social media people that span the health realm to just write the writer's realm to the political commentary realm all or just politics in general um basically anyone who has blown up or gotten big um has a potential to gain access to uh what I am calling the black ma the sorry the black market techno hijacking scheme which is that much like as I explained in the post much like um, there are like paid assassins, you know, kind of a thing um, that the mob use and other people, more official, more official people have used. Um, there is the, sa the same thing except for on the technological landscape. And so people who have, especially people who have made it very big online, um, have the potential to tap into this black market and basically pay for um, techno hijackers to shadow banners and stuff who are basically mercenaries. Like they don't, they just get paid, much like an assassin, right? And then they go and they target certain people or platforms that they are paid to target. And I have also written a list that is ongoing. I'm adding to it as I think of them. But I have traced this predatory pattern to major platforms that are even and especially so-called freedom fighting platforms, like who, who, um, who fight for freedom and constitution, so-called you know, um, human rights, all that. But... I have discovered through my work um, and analysis that 
the whole freedom fighting scheme in the West is not real. It's all a game. Freedom fighting is a commodity. Okay, and I, and I write a list of these platforms that I have traced this predatory pattern to and that they essentially stay on top. I'm saying that they essentially stay on top because they are, they are taking advantage of this um, techno hijacking black market.